all right what is good youtube it's your boy rebel back with another video and today we are going to be talking about the new image model called z image turbo so z image turbo is the distilled version of z image that matches or exceeds leading competitors with only eight number of function evaluations so essentially all this means is it can generate high quality images in about eight steps so a little bit about the model architecture they adopt a scalable single stream dit architecture in this setup text visual semantic tokens and image vae tokens are concatenated at the sequence level to serve as a unified input stream maximizing perimeter efficiency compared to dual stream approaches so all you need to know about this model is that it is extremely fast, generating images at 30 seconds or less on 8 gigabytes of VRAM. You can see on the artificial analysis, it's actually ranked number 4 currently, which is kind of surprising, but you'll see why in a few minutes when I show you these examples. So in order to test this model out, you're going to need to go to my Civit AI page and download the workflow. All of the links for the files will be in the description. I chose the FP8 model simply because I couldn't get the, the BF16 model to run properly. I kept getting like black screen images and it was just exhausting to try to figure out what was wrong. So I went with the FP8. Keep in mind that the FP8 model is only 6 gigs, so this is going to fit on pretty much any VRAM card with no problem. The only thing that you will possibly struggle with is the text encoder, and that runs at 8 gigabytes, but we'll get to that in a minute. So after you download the workflow and files from the links in the Civit AI workflow, you can drag and drop the workflow into Comfy UI, and you'll get something that looks like this. So it's a pretty basic image setup. So you have your diffusion model, you have your sampling flow, you have your VAE, you have your clip. Um, the only thing you need to pay attention to is this type for the clip file. It needs to be Lumina 2. This actually runs off of the Quen um, 3B clip file. Moving over, we have our two encode nodes for the text. We have our K sampler. We have our empty latent image and our decode, and we have our save image. So with the workflow accounted for, we will go through our examples today. Um, and I also want you to pay attention to how long these images took to generate, because this is like a bit ridiculous when you look at how fast this is. I mean, 13 seconds across the board for images is unheard of, especially for like a low VRAM setup it's unbelievable um, but we'll get into the quality here so here's a few images we have a postcard with some text written on it i did do a few texts so you guys can get a look at that so we have a nighttime tokyo scene pretty standard for most tests we have an elderly man showcasing the wrinkles and detail in the face Have a nice uh, wilderness scene at the outside of a coffee shop. Photo real lion. A laptop doing some coding. A nice plants on the table, light shining in, uh, some shadow going on. A astronaut. motorcycle very nice plate of sushi this is very well done A woman businessman kids standing against the wall elderly woman couple holding hands A looks like a Lamborghini. Have a nice old style car convertible. Here we have some surreal photorealism prompts. So this is just like a crystal in a lake. 
a woman with, looks like she's made of vine. Some seashell buildings. A piano in the middle of the desert. That's kind of cool. We have a billboard with a man holding a white sign. Both texts are correct. We have a man standing against a graffiti backdrop. Both texts are also correct. You can't see the M here, but I mean, you can tell that that's an M. All right, guys, that's all I'm going to have for you today. Just wanted to get this workflow to you guys and show you some examples so you can understand just how efficient this model actually is. So if you liked what you guys saw today, you can subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment to let me know how I did on the video. You can also like the video. It genuinely helps the channel tremendously. So go ahead and download this workflow, get generating as many images as you can, and go ahead and if you don't mind, post a couple of them to my Civit AI page workflow so I can see what you guys are working on. All right, guys, have a good day. Thanks. Bye.